Hi guys, Daniel here from Termagold. Welcome to the website. Today I'm going to go through some frequently asked questions we get. So we get calls all the time in regards to our bait, our stations, our systems. And this is going to help you guys answer a lot of your questions and also save you guys ringing every time you need to. You can go through these questions. However, if it's a difficult situation, you don't get what you need out of this, certainly give us a call because we're happy to give ongoing advice. As I said, we do this every day as a professional company. We, we've got thousands of installs around the Gold Coast and Brisbane region, so we're passing on our information to you guys. So one of the first questions I get a lot is, does this work? You know, people are skeptical these days. Well, I just say to that, does a one-legged duck swim in circles? Of course it does. So it certainly works. We use this exact product. We use these stations, this bait every day as a professional company, Complete Termite Solutions. And as I said, we've got thousands of systems in. If we didn't if we didn't think this would work, we'd have so many complaints from our clients. We've got a massive database. We're one of the leading uh, termite companies in Australia independently. And uh, as I said, it works awesome. So we use this every day. We use the same bait and stations you're getting in your package. So another question we get asked a lot is how does the bait work? So what the bait does is you bait directly on active termites and that termites take that back to the colony, which has got the queen in it. So our goal is to get rid of the queen. She's the, she's the barometer of the whole colony. So if you take out the queen, the whole colony's gone within two weeks. So the idea of the bait is the workers feed on the bait. So you put on active termites, whether it's in your house, in your sleepers, in a tree, anywhere you find active, they're taking that bait back to the colony. They're a social animal, they're passing it to each other, the workers are. The workers are feeding the soldiers and the queen. So it doesn't matter how far the queen is away from the source, they're taking the bait back to that point. And what it does when they eat large amounts of the bait, termites molt several times a year. So it stops their molting process and that kills off the workers who feed the soldiers and the queen. So the queen dies and the, and the soldiers die of starvation. Also when the workers die in the molting process, they give off ammonia which is like a gas that also kills the queen. So that's how you get colony elimination. Once the queen's gone, the colony's gone within two weeks. So it's, it's not a, a super quick process, depends, it depends on what sort of species it is. But once they start feeding on the bait, you're guaranteed you'll get colony el elimination in time. So another question we get is how do the stations work? So what we do with the stations, we place them at three metre centres around your home. So we do a complete perimeter of your home at no more than three metre centres. This is how we do it as professionals. And the idea of the station is if termites are coming from an outside source, the colony's out here, we've got a barrier around your home and if they're going to try and get access to your home, they V-line to the station. The reason they go to the station is that the timber and the cardboard's giving off CO2 in the soil which emulates a decaying log. So they're attracted to the CO2 levels. Then when they get to the station, they feed on the timber, which is Tasmanian oak, one of their favorite timbers. So that's how they get to the station. So the idea is to have a full system around your home. So it intercepts any foraging termites coming to your home. Once they're active in the station, you bait directly inside that hollow area and just keep baiting every three weeks because that goes back to the colony and the baiting process. And that's how we gain colony elimination from having the stations in the ground. So another question I get often is, why do I need a full barrier around my home? Why can't I just buy a few stations or you know, a 12 pack like this thing here and that'll do my whole house? The reason is, if you've got big gaps, there's good chance termites can breach through that section. So three meters is sort of the optimum distance we use as professionals, every job we do we never exceed the three meter mark. It's sort of a golden rule in our game with baiting and monitoring. Look, it's certainly, you don't have to go this level. If you want the best system you can put in, that's what we recommend. But also strategic work well if you can't afford the full system. But what we do say is try not to exceed three meter centers around your home. The reason is if you've got larger gaps, like five, six meters, termites can get through that gap and they're, they're into your home before you know it. Whereas if you've got three meter centers, normally the CO2 levels give off a two meter radius from the station, so it overlaps. So therefore, if they're going between them, they'll V off to one or the other. Then you can bait directly into your station. So that's the main reason why we recommend three meter centers and a full system around your home for the best protection possible. 
Another question we get is how and where do I bait? So it's a great question because people have never done this, they're learning. So what we say is wherever you find active termites, you bait. So what I say, even if you haven't found a lot in that area, still put some bait on it and test it. So what I say to a lot of the people doing it themselves, which are you guys out there, is if you find active termites, bait in all the areas you find them. So if you've got some in the skirting board or a window seal or outside in your sleepers or in a tree, bait on those areas. And then what you do over time, you find out where the best feeding zone is and, and keep putting more bait in that area. So at the start, it's a bit of a test trial. You bait multiple areas. If they're eating wise areas, keep rebaiting. Every three weeks, we say rebait. Don't do it all the time. You don't want to upset the termites. So what you want to do is just leave it, be patient. Every three weeks, that's what we do as professionals. Go back, check it, rebait. But at the start, when you're trying to find where the main feeding source is, Bait multiple areas, if they're in multiple areas that is. If they're in one area, just bait that one area. But yeah, it's trial and error at the start, especially when you're learning. But when they're feeding, it's working. So if you see the bait change color, go brownie color from the white it is, that's their excretion. They're in amongst it feeding. So don't check it every day. Just go back every three weeks, check it, rebait, close it over, leave it and let them do their thing because they're taking that back to the colony. How much bait do I place on active termites? So what we say is 100 grams of bait. So you get, like this holds one kilo, so you get 10 baiting sessions out of a bucket. So we say 100 grams to 350 ml of water is the right consistency. 100 gram is also 500 ml in a jug. So you can fill a jug up with the powder to the 500 ml mark, and that's the perfect amount with 350 ml of clean water. We don't like using tap water because there's chlorine and stuff in it. So try and use clean either tank water or bottled water or buy some distilled water is the best results for the bait because it's, it's pure. So that's how much you put on each active area. When, and then you check it in three weeks. If they haven't eaten any in some areas, you don't need to rebate it. But if they've eaten 60, 70%, rebate it with that amount. You don't need to overdo the bait. Just keep feeding what the consumption rate is of the termites at the time. So another question is how often do I bait on active termites? As I said before, don't do it all the time. People check it, they put it in a week and we get calls saying it's not working. We've checked it after two days, they're not feeding. Like they're not going to, sometimes it takes a little while for them to get used to the bait. And two, every species is different, their metabolism's different. So some are more aggressive feeders than others. So the type you have may not be an aggressive feeder. So be patient. That's why we say the three, three week mark. Bait 100 grams. With 350 ml of water, cover it over, leave it for three weeks, go back and check, replace the amount that's taken, if not the same. Normally the first couple of times you rebate, you're putting the same amount on. But after a couple of months, they do slow up the feeding because the colony's getting smaller, they're dying out. So you don't need to put as much bait on. So might, might pay to mix half that amount if they've only eaten a little bit. So just rebate as, as the consumption rate diminishes, just rebate what's required to keep that colony feeding and you'll get the best result. Another question is how long does the bait take to kill the colony? So this is a, it's a, yeah, it's a pretty random sort of question. How long's a bit of string sometimes because you've got copter termies, sometimes one month the whole colony's gone. They're super aggressive. Then you've got shadow rhinos, which is another aggressive species, can take five, six months because they only molt, they don't molt as often throughout the year. So it's the molting process where they die out. So if in the winter sometimes they're slower metabolism so they can take longer to molt. So it's generally between three and four months we find in most cases the colony is completely gone. But if it's not, just keep applying bait. You don't have to do the, the full amount, but just keep adding to it. Let them feed, be patient, because sometimes they haven't molted yet. They've eaten enough bait to die out. It's just a matter of that molting process happening. The only, a colony only needs to consume 100 grams of bait to kill the whole colony. So we're feeding them more than that. We want to be super safe and make sure they've eaten enough to kill that colony out. But you've, even if it's taken four and five months, just keep adding a little bit, keep them feeding. And what you find, the last stage of colony elimination is you see all soldiers. So they're the ones with the mandibles, the teeth. You see the little nippers on them, they're the soldiers. They can't feed. So when you see all soldiers at the end of it, that means the colony's pretty much gone because the workers have died out. The workers feed the soldiers. So at the start, you've got 80% workers, 20% soldiers. But once you see the colony coming to the end, you see all the ones that are left with the nippers wandering aimlessly, that means the next stage is the colony's completely gone. 
just remember we're killing millions, not thousands. So it's, it's a patience game and just keep monitoring and baiting. And over time, you'll get that, definitely get that colony elimination. So another question is, where and how many areas do I put the bait? So always put the bait on active termites. It's no good putting bait on old termite damage because there mightn't be any termites there. You're just gonna place your bait, you're gonna waste your money, and it's just gonna sit there. There's no termites in that area. So what we say, if you don't find termites, don't bait randomly just hoping they'll come to that area. But if you see any termites in that area, certainly bait. And what we do say is bait on all areas you find active at the start. And over time you'll find where they're feeding the most, keep baiting that area the most as well. Because normally it's all one colony at once, you know. You can have multiple attacks, but generally if it's in one area, it's one colony attacking your home. So just keep baiting on that area. All areas at the start, keep baiting on the most you know, consumed area over time to get that colony elimination. Another question, is the bait dangerous to kids and pets? It's a great question. What I love about this, the most eco-friendly way to treat termites in the world, and, and the bait is less toxic than you know, table salt. So we could eat copious amounts as people, as pets. They don't touch it, but it wouldn't matter if they did. It only affects termites in their molting stage. And as I said, it can take several months to kill the colony. So the potency level is so low. So it's pure cellulose in the bait. And the active is chloroflazolon, which is yeah, one gram per kilo. So, which is a very low grade and it only affects, as I said, termites only in their molting stage. So with kids and pets, it's as safe as you can get. We handle this all day, every day, no dramas at all. I've got grandchildren myself and I'd certainly let them play with it and not be worried at all. So, as I said, this is what we love about this product. It's not a chemical we're splashing around your place where dogs and kids can play in it. It's the most eco-friendly way you can treat termites in the world. Right, another question we get asked often is how many stations do I need around my home? So this is a pretty simple mass equation. So if you measure the lineal meters around your home where the stations are gonna go, so then this might be around a patio, around a pool, just outside your footpaths. So measure the whole distance, divide it by three, and that'll give you amount because we're running at three metre centres. So if you've got a 60 lineal metre home, which is pretty common standard for a little three bedroom home, you'll need 20 stations around that. So you basically need, you either buy a 12 pack, a 24 pack, 30 pack, whatever suits your home. We also do custom packs, but just divide it by three metres gives you the number of stations you need around your home. That's if you want a full system. If you want to go strategic, you can go less. Just do it the distance you want. But the best way to get full protection is go no more than three metre centres around your home and place them in those areas to form that full barrier. So it creates that interception zone from termites wandering to your home. They're gonna be off to the station. Then you bait, get rid of that colony. So three metre centres around your home. Another question we get, we get a lot of different questions and some seem weird, but does it work all over Australia? Like, it's a good question. We're in the Gold Coast and Brisbane area and, and they're very, the, the metabolism of the termites is high all year round because we're, we're a warmer client, we're subtropical, and even through the winter they're still busy. Whereas in Melbourne and stuff, they slow right down in winter. Victoria, Tasmania hasn't got termites because it's too cold. So in your colder areas, they certainly slow down in the winters. But it does work all over Australia on nearly all species. We're trialling it at the moment on mastotermes, which are you know, above the Tropic of Capricorn. They're the biggest termites in the world. The Great Northern Termites is another name for them. So they're, they're 14 millimetres long. They're three to four times the size of your standard coptotermy, which is the most aggressive in Australia. So as we say, every species they work on, mastotermes we're trialling, which are the big, big aggressive termites. So they're above the Tropic of Capricorn. So look, if you do see massive termites and you, and you live in those areas around Darwin or Cairns, look, we recommend you get professionals out because we are trialling it. It's just, they eat copious amounts of it. It seems to be working fine, but all other species in Australia, they love it, they'll feed on it, they find the bait palatable, and it'll kill the colony over time. But as I said, they do have different molting times, so it's a patience game, because we're trying to kill millions, not thousands. Another one we get is how long does the bait last on the shelf? So the beauty of this bait is we've, it's been trialled for five years, it doesn't break down, it's in a powder form, it's in a sealed container. As long as you put the lid back on, keep it high and dry, keep it out of the moisture, 
five years, no dramas at all. So it's proven five years, it's probably longer. But as I said, it comes in a sealed container. It's got a bag inside the container, plastic bag. So just keep it fully sealed, store it high and dry, and it'll last forever. So yeah, long longevity of the bait is really good. So another question we get is the termites are not taking the bait, what do I do? Like it is a great question because it does happen, it even happens to us. There could be multiple reasons why they're not taking the bait. If you've sprayed them with fly spray in that active area before you've baited, a lot of the time they won't go back to that area, you've contaminated the area. So you've got to be really careful. You don't want to go spray in any area you find active termites. You want to put them on the organic spot they're in and they're feeding on, jam them on that, cover the bait and leave it. But if it has been sprayed, sometimes it deters the colony from that area. They know there's poison there. They send signals back to each other. They don't come to that area. Another thing is to smokers, like if you're mixing the bait and you're a smoker, it can contaminate the bait. So keep everything clean, keep your hands clean. As we say on the other videos, we've got a lot of tips and tricks. Put gloves on, mix it pure, use good water. So you're giving the bait the best option to work. So if you contaminate the bait, termites pick up on it. You know, they're not silly. If there's smoke and different things that aren't a natural part of the environment all over the bait, they won't take to it. Also, people check it too often. That's why we say three weeks. So bait on that active area, leave it three weeks. Don't check it every day. You're gonna upset them, they're shy. Some are very shy and they'll disappear. So just bait on it, leave it. Go back and check in three weeks. If they haven't taken the bait, give us a call and we'll explain reasons why it can happen and how to, how to try and find a better area. Because it does happen, not very often, but look, we're dealing with animals that are unpredictable sometimes and it can happen. But we, as I said, the follow-up service on the phone, give us a call, it's probably best off talking to one of our technicians and they'll give you the best advice possible. So another question we get a lot is, is a termite station and a full system easy to install? Well, that's a station. You can see the depth of it. It's only 150 centimetres. If you can put a pot plant in or a little plant in a pot that size, you can put these stations in around your home. Very simple and easy. Dig down a bit below the depth, put it in, pack dirt around it, nice and tight, finish the top flush with the soil and you're right to go. There's also videos, videos on how to install as well. So if you treat each one like an individual pot plant and put 20 odd around your home, yeah, it can take three or four hours, but just think you're saving three to 4,000 on most jobs. So buy the kit, do it yourself, check them once a month. Once you put the system in that first year, when they're active, you bait on it. So we say once a month in that first year, because you're probably sitting in an area, nothing's been done for a lot of time. You've got a lot of mature colonies around the area. So you want to be checking these once a month, when they're active, bait on them. We haven't had one home in the area we work in that hasn't had one station hit in a year. And that's over a thousand systems in. We've always found active termites in at least one station. The highest we've had, we put uh, 52 stations around a house once and 19 were active in the first month. So that was full on three different species, but we're in a pretty hot termite zone. So you might have that amount, but you'll always get hit if you've got active termites in the area because they're always foraging through the soil. So when they're active, bait on them, get rid of that colony.